Hey everyone, it's Dr. Rick with a quick tutorial on how to change your dispensary, or in fact, why you would want to change your dispensary if you are a medical cannabis card holder in the state of Illinois. Now, the state of Illinois offers two different types of cards if you're a patient, and one is the MCPB card, which is the one to three year card, and the other is the OAPP card, which is the 90-day card. The 90-day card is made more for people with uh, opioid prescriptions or chronic pain. And it's much cheaper. It's like $10 to the state, but you still have to pay for a doctor visit for getting authorized. Uh, some doctors do it. Some doctors don't. We used to offer uh, approval for that. We decided that we'd like to spend more time with our patients on fine-tuning and uh, also uh, certifying for the MCPP card. That card gives you more power as far as buying higher doses of THC. It also gives you a wider menu. The recreational uh, shoppers will not have the same choices as my card holders. This is medical cannabis, so you're supposed to, like a pharmacy, have a reserve of medical products at the dispensary for patients that are signed up with your dispensary. So by law, I don't think the state's holding most dispensaries to that. This is exactly why I'm doing this video, is that sometimes when my patients go for the medical part, a lot of what I suggest to my patients with autoimmune disease, cancer, fibromyalgia, chronic pain, even Crohn's disease, a lot of the products are not as uh, popular as the flower or vape in your average dispensary. So they, they might not hold those products on the shelf unless my patients, and we're getting to be a bigger force in number, my patients start demanding that they want it at their dispensary. So FYI, if you're one of my patients and your dispensary doesn't have it, talk to the managers and say, can you please order it for me? The bigger the request, the stronger the force that we have as a voice. I would uh, exercise my rights as a patient. If I'm going to look for something called SURP, S-U-R-P, SURP, it's actually a syrup. You, I put it into my Pellegrino, my uh, carbonated water, and it gives a little bit of a bubbly taste. That's the equivalent of a beer for me, and there's no calories. I love beer too, but too much sugar, too many calories, too many carbs, and I'm going to be 60 next year. and those things affect my gut too much. I'm going to check Zenleaf, which is 11 minutes from my office, the closest dispensary to me. I'm going to check their menu. This is their landing page, a view menu, and I get this. Uh, there's a search bar in the middle, search med Zenleaf St. Charles, Illinois. I'm going to search for a drink. I'm going to look at what populates, and nothing here is syrup. There's this stuff here in the middle of the page called citrus lime, and I've done videos on this one. It's pretty good. A limey taste, uh, but it's not what I'm looking for. So I will say, darn, I don't see it at my local dispensary. I have the option of changing dispensaries within a heartbeat. So I'm going to check on Hatch. Hatch is a dispensary in Addison. It's about 23 minutes from my office at the Endorphin Effect. So here's the Hatch landing page. Bottom left-hand corner, you'll see Shop Medical Menu. Touch on that. And I'm going to put drink into their search bar, and it comes up with, there you go, that's syrup. Sativa, sativa, cherry, or French vanilla. So that's what I want. Now that I know that they have it, there it is, I'm going to go to the state's website and see if I can change my dispensary. So this is the state's login, MCPP login. And I entered my data, my user, and my password. This is the next page. And if you scroll to the bottom of the page, you'll see this. On the left hand, you'll see a column of four options. There is one that says change dispensary. You click on change dispensary and this pops up. And this is my license number because uh, I also am a caregiver for another patient. I've already registered has Rick Segill, the patient, not Rick Segill, the caregiver. So I'm going to click continue. And it gives me this just to say that this is the, exactly what we're doing is changing dispensary, qualifying patient only. Uh, click next at the bottom. And it just confirms Zenleaf District 26 is my current dispensary. And that's the pull down menu. Select from the dispensary from this pull down menu. And if you pull it down, there's a ton of different dispensaries, which I'm very lucky that there's a lot of dispensaries in my area within an hour. So I'm going to click on Hatch. 
And I'm just going to confirm that. Click on Next at the bottom of the page. And this is just to make sure everything is correct. Uh, old dispensary Zenleaf, new dispensary hatch, correct and finish. And it takes you back out. So you can always click on that Start button just to confirm that your new dispensary is listed as hatch or whatever you choose around you. And that's pretty much it. It used to be that you'd have to mail in the request to change a dispensary or try to talk to somebody. It was understaffed before or overburdened. Uh, and with COVID, they've streamlined it. This used to take weeks to months to change, even to get the card, but definitely to change. But now I'm done. I can go shopping within an hour at my new dispensary. So you can see how easy it is. If you have questions about what kind of products you should be using, what kind of combinations of entourage effects within one product or ensemble effects within two products or two products and your diet, two products, your diet and your supplements. That's called the ensemble effect. Please don't feel that you're alone. Unfortunately, the bud tenders, the salespeople at the dispensaries, they can only give out so much information. They can give you general information that most people choose this product or that bud tender will say, I have tried this other product. If you tell them, I'm just using it for sleep, I'm just using it for calming, I'm just using it for relaxing, they'll give you general statements, general answers. But if you want to fine tune this, save money, microdose, not walk around like a zombie, and empower yourself to use and consume products properly with the least amount of spending, you consult me or my team. I have a team of coaches at Mixture, which is a company that I started. If you go to Herbal 401, this, everybody knows my website. Click on Medical Cannabis Consults. You'll see Book for Virtual Appointment. There's a, you can just click on that green bar to get your appointment. This is a video that Tommy Chong did from Cheech and Chong, just blessing me on my journey. But if you look here at the Cannabis Coaches, the, this takes you to my other website where I have started a business of coaching. I found that some people do need a little bit of dialing in. If you go to my mixture website, you'll see that it's me and three other individuals. That's Dr. Jiwan, Dr. Dingra, and Mike Richards. And we all work to empower our patients to figure out the best combination. Again, you might be able to get that information if you look it up on Leafly. You might be able to get it if you talk to a cannabis coach. You will probably not get it if you talk to your doctor, if your doctor will even certify you, because most doctors are still very apprehensive about saying anything that they believe in medical cannabis. Because it's still a Schedule One drug, that means a useless drug that is highly addictive, which is totally false. Uh, but until we get it off Schedule 1 and there's politics involved, and I'm not going to talk about that, uh, you will have to kind of back alley your way through figuring out the best. The oncologists in the area send their patients to me to figure out how to use medical cannabis for increasing appetite, for taking care of side effects, for helping with sleep, for taking care of irritable bowel syndrome, not just the oncologist, but the GI doctors. It's still apprehensive uh, to use cannabis as a medicine. I'm getting good results. My patients are walking around with reversed disease. That means disease that's been turned off. I, as you can see in my little description, I used to be fibromyalgia with IBS, but I am not anymore. That's called remission. That means it doesn't exist anymore. And I've been able to reverse it. I had to find my own way, but it took probably about 15 years. And I don't want that to happen to anybody else. Uh, if you just depend on your doctors, that's fine. But you'll probably be on a lot of medicines. If you want to find your way and empower your way through lifestyle change and possibly do better than just taking a pill, you come to see me or come to see one of my coaches. So regardless, hopefully this gives you a little bit of a idea about what kind of value you have invested and how you can really take advantage of what you invested in to maximize on your lifestyle with this medical cannabis option. So thanks for watching up to this point. If you have anybody else that you know that is kind of they invested, but they're really stuck or they just don't like the results from one experiment and they had uh, gotten high then send them my way uh, because there's a lot of great things that they can take advantage of if 
done in a wise, proper fashion, and we can help guide that. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to me on my YouTube channel and click the alert bell to find out when I do new videos. Otherwise, I'll see you the next video.